Sorry. Same as before. But this is not right. You, you cannot shut me down. You cannot do this. Mr. Wallace, I've checked your wastewater inside and out. I've checked your runoff gutters, and now out here, more contaminants. Ammonia, acetone, benzene, nitrobenzene. No, no, no. This is a mistake. Where is Gary? He, he will tell you my soap is very good, very green. No, your soap is not the issue. It's your filtration system. At the very least, you'll need to retrofit. But if you're leaching into the groundwater, which is looking like a real possibility here, you're going to need to replace your system entirely. Replace? Do you know what cost that is? $200,000. Look, I understand it's a hardship. If you like, we can give you a list of approved vendors. If you get going immediately, your downtime shouldn't be any more than four or five weeks. OK. So sorry, you are right. From now on, uh, we will be extra careful and uh, clean. No more pollution. OK? Yes? No, I'm sorry. The state requires you to suspend all commercial activity until these levels reach the mandated minimums. What is usual, then? Where is Gary? He got transferred to Las Cruces. If you'd like to file an appeal, you can contact... I have done nothing wrong. Tell me why you shut me down. What laws did I break? What laws? Several. Tell me exact specific laws or I refuse. Specific. Right now. Just... Tell me exact the specific what laws, laws I broke. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. The New Mexico Hazardous Waste Act of 1978, Section 74, Chapter 4, Part 13 states, whenever the disposal of solid waste or hazardous waste presents an imminent or substantial endangerment, the offender may be fined not more than $5,000 each day in which the violation occurs. All right, okay. Now, the, okay, baby. All right, the EPA can cite him under the Toxic Substances Control Act of 1976, U.S. Code Title 15, Chapter 53, Subchapter 1, Section 2606. Satisfied? Was that specific enough for you?